Now, there are plans to unearth a piece of history at Lincoln Cathedral. During the Second World War, the Lincoln Fire Brigade stayed behind to protect the cathedral. They helped put in a huge water tank which could be used to put out fires if the cathedral was bombed. But to make room for new plans now the, at the cathedral, the tank will be dug up with the help of members of the public as well. Simon Spark has this. A part of Lincoln Cathedral will soon be transformed into a new visitor experience. Starting next year, on the north side of the cathedral, plans for a visitor centre, cafe, shop and exhibition space. It will mean digging up a bit of the cathedral's World War II history, which is currently buried behind the Minster Yard railings here. What looks like nothing more than a grassy mound hides a large underground water tank which would have been used by the Lincoln Fire Brigade to put out fires had the cathedral been hit by aerial strikes. This is the, the finished product. This is how it was up until the 1970s. The grandfather of Sue Taylor, who's a presenter for BBC Radio Lincolnshire, was one of the firemen. There he is, Frank Gilbert Brown, leading fireman with Lincoln Fire Service. But also I've spotted he was a bit of a naughty boy, by all accounts. Um, he's got here a fine uh, for lost equipment. So once the water tank was installed, they needed a way of getting the water around the cathedral. So they had to dig trenches and lay hose piping and put standpipes in. And I can remember Grandad saying that as they were digging around the cathedral, they were coming across bodies um, that suddenly were disintegrating and materials and things that they found. But it was wartime. It was just a case of we've got a job to do and let's get on with it. To fill it, water was pumped from the Brayford pool, and this shot not only shows them practicing, but the scale of what they would have had to tackle. But today the fire service say the tank wouldn't be required. They've not wanted to use this for a very long time. Modern fire engines have got such powerful pumps that they reckon they would drain all the water out of here out of it in a couple of minutes. When it was first built, it was kept as an open tank. Uh, it was covered for safety reasons, and there's still water in there which we'll have to pump out and get rid of. But we do know that underneath the water tank are the foundations of a medieval building, a very big building that stood on this site. And we also do know that below that there must be the remains of Roman buildings because we're right in the heart of Roman Lincoln. Next year's excavation will be a community dig where everyone can get involved in another part of the cathedral's history. Simon Spark, BBC Look North, Lincoln.